Hello guys. I hope you have watched each and every version of Java features till Java 17 in my previous set of videos. If not, please look into the link in the description. Go ahead and then watch the previous versions of Java with its features and how it actually works internally. Now, it's time to learn about Java 18. Why Java 18 has been evolved? When Java 17 was LTS, which is a long term support, Oracle also wants to add some more features and they want to see whether it is able to uh, really hit in the market or not, right? So every six months, Oracle is releasing their new features and some features are in preview state, some features are in incubator state also, which means like it's very uh, not able to use it, but it's something like they started uh, introducing it, the new concept. And developers, we can able to test it out. And if we can able to give feedback to Oracle, yes, of course, we can go ahead and then give the feedback and uh, they should be able to take it uh, for their further developments. So guys, there are some features which was introduced in Java 18 and we are going to see this in and out of it. Myself, Karthik Ponuswami from Richest Tech. I am going to tell you what and all they have released in Java 18. We are going to see each and everything one by one. And if you guys are new to our channel, subscribe to it and inform your friends and colleagues. So they also get to know about Java and AWS much more in our channel and they will also get benefited. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you guys like this video. And also don't forget to hit the notification button guys. I will see you now. Guys, let's get started with the Java 18 coding part. Okay, so considering the timing, uh, I already created uh, some of the methods and classes uh, for Java 18. Uh, so I hope you guys are able to see my screen where I'm going to explain each and everything one by one. Guys, if you remember, I was talking about incubator, right? So guys, like uh, vector API, you guys remember like vector was one of the collection which we talk about uh, when we talk about uh, collections, right? So Oracle has some uh, made some changes to uh, the vector API in Java 18. What they made is, so they make uh, some changes to vector API in terms of incubator phase. Incubator is something, but like it's, it's not even started. It's not even ready to use, but still they want to introduce something over here. What is this concept is all about so guys like it is a very new way of or very new efficient way of uh, using vector collection uh in, let's say for primitive data types okay where it is offering high performance I, I hope like you guys know already that vector is having a problem with respect to performance uh right so now they want to improve the performance of a vector as well so they are offering like more high performance uh, uh vector api with respect to parallel calculations and other internal stuffs okay why they have to provide this Right. Instead of like having vector is always having a problem with respect to performance, uh, they want to add some more value to the existing vector API. So they are giving like, you know, more faster and more efficient way of doing a uh, vector API. How it actually works is it is actually using a concept called SIMD. It's nothing but single instruction, multiple data. Okay. That is what actually they are using for parallel processing case. So how does it actually works? I see if you guys take a look at here, there's one simple Java uh, program uh, where I have some main method. Where let's say if I have something called temperature in let's say in double where it's a vector. So guys, if you guys see here vector dot off, okay, you can able to use you know multiple data like this as it is. Okay, it's an incubator phase, so I cannot able to execute it, but I'm just going to explain how the syntax looks like. So um, this might comes in future as a real uh, preview and then comes for standard feature or not, we don't know, but we still need to understand. Uh, Oracle made some change in the vector API in Java 18. I hope this is very clear, guys. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Guys, uh, in the previous video, in Java 17, we have, we have uh, learned about something called pattern matching, right, with respect to switch case, right. So here also, they made some changes, okay, it is like actually a second preview, which means like in 17, there was a first preview and 18, there's a second preview. What they made change? Guys, pattern matching is something like, they have made a pattern matching concept, a type matching with respect to switch instance of and uh, some of the other things. But here we are going to see, uh, it's kind of like a, uh, trying to see whether the uh, sequence of tokens are matching or not okay and then within the switch case basically they added like something kind of like uh, null checks also now okay what actually they made here is you guys see here let's say i have a list uh, list equal to null and uh, in the switch i can take this list and in the case the label i can check whether it is null or not okay if this list is null then i can simply go here and then say that list is null and then break it here otherwise i can go here and then make it non-empty is it simple guys right it's very simple right so guys, if you guys see here, it, it makes the null checks very easy. And I'm going to just execute this program and see whether we are going to get the output as list is null or not. Because our list is null, right? We should get this. Yeah, if you guys see here, the list is null. So which means they made the change. They made this change with respect to uh, null checks uh, in Java 18. Okay. Basically, whatever we have seen in the previous video, Java 17, they made some extending uh, some features over there. Okay, guys. And there is one more new concept they have introduced something like internet address resolution or solution okay what does it mean 
let's say if i have something called let, let me go and run this program guys one minute let it uh, compile and then do stuff okay let's say if i have something called google.com right if you want to get the ip address of this www.google.com i have something called internet address dot get by name then i can get this if you guys see here this is the ip address of google.com when i go and run it again i want to see whether it is going to come the same ip or is it like a dynamically it is getting changed or not let's quick it let's give it a try yeah it's the same okay so basically uh, they have added this method in java 18 wherein like you can able to get the ip address of particular website url okay and now uh, they have made some enhancements with respect to switch expressions guys okay what are those basically um whatever they did in java 17 they made some you know extra uh, features here okay so basically it expands switch statements beyond just conditional comparison switch is, everyone knows that like okay switch is for just to uh, do the comparison um, based on some conditions right but uh just they don't want to just uh, stay there they want to do some more extra features for switch what they're doing is like allowing for assignments as well okay and uh, how they are making is like something like uh they are using like leveraging the pat pattern matching under the hood okay behind the scenes pattern matching is what everything is all about okay guys why they made it to make some more code re re readability and consistency means like less number of codes and make it our life easy with respect to developers so what actually it does here is the example guys okay meanwhile let me go and run this program it will take some time while i'm explaining it okay let it run so guys if you guys see here this is a class sample class main method where i have string day equal to tuesday so here i'm assigning the value of a day as tuesday and if the switch day is tuesday then if the case is either monday or wednesday it will go here okay if it is tuesday or thursday it is going to say like meeting day if it is friday it will go here if you guys see here they have added like more than one label right it makes our life easy right like with respect to uh, understanding uh, just uh, uh, switch and case if you see like this right it's it's like easy to implement it isn't it so this is what they did and uh, this is something like they introduced in java 18 guys i hope these are the main uh, things which we need to learn especially with respect to java 18 i hope this is very clear for you guys and if you guys anything uh, having any questions about this particular concept just put it in your comments i will be more than happy to answer it and if you are very new to our channel subscribe to it and also don't forget to inform your friends and family so they will also get benefit out of java and aws videos and much more in our channel and uh, don't forget to hit the notification button and uh, if you guys like this video please go ahead and then like this video thank you